Anish? Yes, mom. What are you doing? Playing games. Can you please stop this? Yes, mom. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Let me show you. Wow, a box. So I went to a robotic shop. There I found this. Raspberry Pi 4. So I wow. got this for you. Wow. Here it is. Please take. Fan for that. Okay. Of course you need a case. Yes. Thank you. I am going to give you a challenge now. Are you ready for the challenge? Yes. Let me see what are you going to do from Raspberry Pi 4. I accept this challenge. Now let's start unboxing. All the best. Thank you. Let's unbox my Raspberry Pi. Here's the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 8GB RAM. Here's the case for it and the fan. First, let's install the fan inside the case. Here, we have to place the fan like this. After placing the fan, we can connect this to the Raspberry Pi. We can take our Raspberry Pi, place it inside the case. After connecting, we can close the case. Here is a slot for placing the SD card. Now, let me get my laptop. The SD card I am using is a 64 GB SD card. So, uh, for installing the OS into the SD card, we have to first install the Imager OS in our laptop. First, we can choose our specific browser, open it up, and type Raspberry Pi Imager. Here we can download this from the official website of Raspberry Pi. Here I am using Windows. I am gonna download it for Windows. Here it's downloading. After installation, we can it open it up, give yes over here and install. After installing, we can open it up. Here is my SD card and here is this SD card reader. I can put it into my SD card reader. Plug it into my computer. Here we have to choose our device. Mine is a Raspberry Pi 4. So here I am choosing Raspberry Pi 4. And the OS I am going to choose is Raspberry Pi OS 64. There are many OSs. There are other OSs like Ubuntu. Here I'm going to select 64 bit, then choose storage. This is my 64 GB SD card and click on next and click on no, yes and then it starts installing. Now it's verifying the installation. Now it has successfully downloaded into the SD card and we can safely remove the SD card. Now let's boot our Raspberry Pi up. Here in the Raspberry Pi there is a SD card slot where you can take the SD card and put it in. This is the SD card in which I have installed the Raspberry Pi OS. Here I can safely slide it in like this. 
Now we can boot up our Raspberry Pi. For booting up the Raspberry Pi, we need the two official cables. And here I'm using a Logitech wireless keyboard which has a mouse pad in it. The two official cables are one is the HDMI cable and other the official USB-C power supply. This is a DC 5 volts uh, power supply. Now let's connect it. Here I'm going to take the HDMI cable. Connect one end to the desktop and the other end to the Raspberry Pi. Now here I've connected the HDMI port to the desktop and given it the power supply. Now I can uh, connect the USB of the cable, uh, keyboard. Now let's turn it on. It starts up like this and here we can see Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop powered by Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. As you saw before, I had installed the 64-bit so it's showing that it's 64-bit. Here we can select our country which is India and language as English and time is Kolkata. Here we're gonna use the US keyboard. Click on next. It shows it's setting the location. Here, here we can enter our username. I'm typing as Anish Quest and the password. After clicking on next, we can connect to our Wi-Fi network. It is Navid over here and enter the password and we can click on next. Now it is connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Here we can choose our default browser as Chromium or Firefox. Here I've chosen Chromium and we can click on next. And here it is asking for the software update and give it next. It is setting up for the software update. It is downloading the updates. Now it's installing the updates. The system is up to date. We can click on OK and we can restart it. Now it has restarted. This is our Raspberry Pi 4 running Raspberry Pi OS here here in internet it has both Chrome web browser and Firefox there is VLC media player there is uh, accessories and here help we can look at books and in preferences we can change the size of this menu bar and screen configurations and here if you don't like the wallpaper we can change it by right clicking going to desk desktop preferences and here and here the rpi system and you open it and click on ok this is the official wallpaper of raspberry pi here there's bluetooth we can also connect to Bluetooth devices like a Bluetooth speaker. And here it shows the Wi Fi it's connected. So I'm using this speaker to connect via Bluetooth. Here we can connect over here. Click on add device. It'll show here the devices. Here is a Bluetooth speaker. We can click on pair. Now, after that, we have to click over here on the volume, right click, and click over here on Bluetooth speaker. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Now, it is connected successfully. This is a one terabyte external SSD 
we can access this on my Raspberry Pi 2. Here, I can plug it in and open up files over here. Here, if you can OK, you can open. And these are the old photos which I had on the SSD. We can access all the photos, videos and whatever is it in the SSD. Anish? Yes mom? You're watching videos on YouTube? Yes. But I can see monitor and keyboard. Where is the CPU? This is it, the Raspberry Pi. It is, it is like a computer in our hands. It is small and it can do a lot of tasks. Okay, I thought Raspberry Pi will help you in doing projects. Yes. But I was not aware that it will act like CPU. You know, what all ways you will be using your Raspberry Pi? I can use my Raspberry Pi to make notes upload code for my Raspberry Pi Pico and many other tasks also for gaming. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Anish Krist.